Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a Shop My Stash. I have actually never recorded one of these before, but I typically do this once a month anyways. So I figured I would record it and let me know if this is something you want to see more of. Okay, so first of all, what we're looking at right now is what I've been using for the last month. And I'm just going to go through and start pulling out the stuff I want to put back and then we'll replenish it with some new stuff. Okay, so first I'm going to put back my Stila Living Life in Laguna. I didn't use any of the eyeshadows, but I did try out the highlighters. They honestly aren't very <laughs> intense, which is kind of nice for day to day. They're almost more like a blush topper. But I'm going to put that back because I did get some use out of that. And I'm also going to put back both of these. So this is the ColourPop Tootsie. I love Tootsie. But I did get some use out of it, so I'm going to put that back. And then I got Bite in Cafe. I was actually using this as a cream blush. Did really like it, but again, I'm gonna put it back because I did get some use out of it. Um, what else can I go ahead and put back? So I also used my Maybelline Eye Studio. This is just the black one and I did use it, so I'm gonna put that back because I do have a blue one that I have not used this month at all. So I'm gonna keep this in. I've got my little liquid highlight from Becca. It's pretty much my own, well, it is my only liquid highlight, so I'm going to keep that in. I've got one brow gel left, so I'm going to keep that in. This is for my Project Pan. I've only got one cream contour stick, so I just keep that in there if I want to use it. I'm going to put this back. This is my Clinique, <laughs> really reflective. Uh, this is Clinique Cupid. It's pretty, but I've got some blushes I want to use up for my Project Pan, so I'm going to put that back. This is just a little sample that I kind of want to try out. Um, I'll give you guys a little sneak peek. If you watched my Project Pan intro, you'll know I was talking about repressing a couple of blushes together, so I did go ahead and do that, and that is the outcome. I think it's really pretty, so I'm definitely going to keep that in, obviously, because I want to use that up. Then I pulled my makeup, no, Makeover Essentials Mystic Eyes um, when I did this last month, which I did not record. Uh, it's pretty. Uh, I've been using the highlight shade because I don't have one in my palette that I'm panning, and I also do use the gel liner. So I'm going to put this back because I did use it. This I'm trying to pan, so that's going to stay in. This is um, a bronzer, well, kind of a contour shade. And this is ColourPop Aphrodisiac. So I'm gonna put this back because I've been using it every day, all month, and so I wanna pull something else. The rest in here, in this little pouch here, is all my project pens. So that's gonna stay in. This is the only concealer that's even remotely light enough for me right now, so I'm gonna keep it. This is another project pen, this is another project pen. This is the only primer I have right now, so I'm gonna keep that. <laughs> And I'm going to keep my BB cream in because I'm trying to pan. That's my project. Pan that palette. This is the only powder that I have right now. So I'm actually going to have to replace it here probably in the next month or so. So I'm going to keep that in. This I'm going to put away because, well, I just need to focus on my BB cream right now. So as much as I do like it, this is the Too Faced in Ivory, Born This Way. I'm going to put it back. This is another project pan, project pan. This, I finished the brow side on it. So I'm gonna keep this in just cause I like using it to highlight my cupid's bow in my inner corner and then that way I can just get rid of it. This is project pan, project pan, project pan, project pan. This, uh, I don't know what to do with this little thing. It's technically a concealer stick, but it's really dry. I'm just going to put it away for now and I'll decide later. This I didn't really use at all this month, so I'm going to keep it in. This is Becca in Opal, I believe. Yes, so I'm going to keep that in. That's Project Pan. That's Project Pan. And this I didn't use at all. This is my Starlux Cream Shadow in Core. So I do actually want to try that out as a base um, for some of my Pan Up palette shades. So I'm going to keep that in. Okay, so that's what I'm keeping in. I'm going to put the other stuff away and then I will bring back my other makeup and I'll start pulling from it. 
Okay, so this actually isn't the rest of my makeup, but what I do is I have two different containers. This is the container full of makeup that I have not pulled for quite a while. So essentially what I've been doing for the last year when I do these, um, I put whatever makeup that I'm pulling out of my makeup basket into a separate container. And then I keep pulling from whatever I haven't pulled yet recently until it's basically empty and then I restock it. So hopefully that's not too confusing. Okay, so essentially what I need is I definitely need another bronzer slash contour because I put mine away. So I've got these three to pick from. I got the Bahama Mama, I've got the Too Faced, and then I got the Butter Bronzer. Uh, I kind of want to pull the Too Faced because I haven't used it in so long. Or so long but oh I really like the butter bronzer and then I got the Bahama Mama I think I'm actually going to I think I'm gonna go with the Bahama Mama actually so I'll put those guys away and then I don't want to pull too much for eyeshadow or anything like that because I am obviously trying to pan a palette um, but one thing I don't have, oh, and I do need a new brow pencil because I used up the other one. So I'm going to pull my brow power. This is my last brow pencil. So I'm going to pull that and I need a kind of a light shimmery shade because I don't actually have one of those to work with right now. But I think I'm going to pull this one, the blend minerals, and it is in number 29. really like loose powders but it is very pretty get you a little swatch so I think I'm gonna pull that because like I said I don't have a light shimmery shade to work with so I'll pull that and I'm not gonna pull another brush right now because I am working on two and do I want any... I am going to pull one other lipstick just because I don't want to get bored of the ones I'm working on so I won't probably use it all the time but this was given to me for Christmas by Ashley that's really pretty I haven't had a chance to use it yet so I might pull that um, I want something a little different I've got a lot of really pinky ones that's kind of nice peach or do I want to go totally different and do like a dark I really like Eon mm. actually if no I'm gonna pill this one this is Bilbao by NARS and it's just a really nice almost toffee color it's not like anything I'm working on right now, so at least that will kind of keep me interested. I don't want to pull too much though, because I definitely want to focus on the ones that are in my project pen. And similarly, I'm going to pick one lip gloss, just again, keep things interesting. So I already have a really light shimmery one with the MAC. I've definitely got lots of pinks, so I think I'm going to pull a peach. Yes. I haven't tried the Tarte birthday suit, I think. Yeah, birthday suit, yeah, so maybe I'll try that. Or do I want something that's really easy like these guys? Um, no, I think I'm gonna choose this guy here. This is the Mary Kay in Melon Sorbet. It's just not, again, like anything I'm trying to pan, so it'll just give me a nice break if I wanna use it a couple days. So that is it. I'm going to set up my makeup basket, I guess, for the next month and I'll kind of show it to you guys. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, so this is what I'm going to be working with for the next month. It's definitely overstuffed. Um, unfortunately, because I did decide to do a year-long project pan, I've got a lot more items in here that I would normally pick for a month, but I just don't want to forget about them, so I'm going to just keep them out. That should be good. So. Thank you so much for watching. I'm still trying to get the hang of how I want to film these guys. So if you have any suggestions, do let me know. But I hope you enjoyed and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.